How to send email alerts in Salesforce. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can send email alerts in Salesforce using Flow. Now, first of all, what is this Flow in Salesforce? In Salesforce, Flow is a tool used to automate processes by creating visual, declarative workflows. It is a low-code solution that allows users create custom business processes by dragging and dropping elements onto the canvas. Flow can be used to automate various tasks such as creating records, updating fields, sending emails, and even calling external APIs. They can be triggered manually by users or automatically by system events like record creation, updates, or deletion. Flows are built using a combination of elements such as screen, assignments, loops, conditions, and more. These elements are connected to form a visual representation of the process and each element can be configured to perform a specific action-based task on user's input or data. Now let us begin. Right now we're at the dashboard of Salesforce. So what we're first going to do is go to the top right and then click this icon over here called Setup. Clicking this, this will show us the basic sales setup, setup, service setup, manage subscription, developer console, and edit page. What we're going to click on is the setup button. Now we are redirected to this home page over here where we can edit basically every component of your Salesforce account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on quick file and then we're going to type in go. As you can see, we have a lot of results over here. We have under process automation, we have automation home, flows, migrate to flow, pause and failed flow interviews, process builder, and under workflow actions, we have email alerts, build updates, knowledge actions, task, and workflow rules. There's also environment and identity. Now what we're going to work on today is this flow over here. We're simply gonna double click this and then this will show us this page over here. Now look on the top right, we have two options which is Flow Trigger Explorer or New Flow. What we're going to click on is this New Flow button over here. Now we will be redirected to this page called a Flow Builder app. And as we can see here on the screen, we have five different options. Screen Flow, Scheduled Trigger Flow, Auto Launch Flow, record trigger flow, and the platform event flow. Now, as you can see here on the top, we have core and all templates. By clicking on the all templates, we can have more options such as user provision flow, recommendation strategy, contact request flow, and a lot more. Now, what we're going to choose in our options over here is the record trigger flow. The next thing we're going to do is click on create. Now, over here, we're going to have to configure our flow before we can start. Over here on object, I'm going to put in campaign, campaign member. Next, we have this configure trigger, which will ask when the trigger should happen. And we're going to click on a record is created or updated. Now we're going to scroll down. We have set entry condition. We're going to change this to all conditions are met. And then we're going to add the field status. Now over here, we have operator. You can change the operator to equals, does not equal, starts with, ends with, contain, is null, or is changed. It depends on what you need. But right now, we're going to click on equals. And then the value would be confirm. Now below that, we have this question, when to run the flow for updated records. The first option is every time a record is updated and meets the condition, or only when a record is updated to meet the condition. We're going to select the second one because if we select the first one, this will keep sending updates every time. Now below that, we have to optimize the flow for. The first quick, the first option is the fast field updates where the update fields on the record trigger the flow to run. This is a high performance flow that runs before the record is saved to the database. Now the second option is actions and related records. This flow will run after the record is saved to the database which is what we need, so we're not going to change this anymore. We're simply going to click on Done. As you can see here, our flow has been created. We, we are now going to start to edit our flow and add more functionality. 
and the next thing we're going to do is to give this flow an instruction on what we want it to do. The workflow we're going to create is a workflow that will trigger an email alert. So what we're going to do now is click on this plus icon over here, which is add element. And then we will be able to see a lot of options. We have options such as update trigger records, send email alerts, actions, subflow, different logics, and different data. What we're going to choose is the send email alert. Now this will show us this action page. What we're going to do is click on the, this search bar. Now we have this page over here where it's going to ask us to enter a label, API name, and a description. The label is simply a name for our element so that the flow won't be confused on which element they would need to target. So I'm simply going to copy this name, I'm going to update it here, save a description, and now we would need to set input values. On the set values, we're simply going to put the record, campaign member, then ID. So over ID, this ID. Now the email alert will use the values from earlier in the flow to set the inputs for the task reminder email alert. To use this output later on, store them in variables. Now after this, we're simply gonna click on done. And now we will have this element over here that we have just created inside our flow. The flow that we have just created actually works the same as a workflow email rule. We're going to go and click save. Then we're going to name our label. Workflow replace email. And then we're going to click on save. Now we're going to add another task by simply clicking on the add element sign again. Then we're going to add action. Now as you can see here, we have a lot of options on the left side. We have users, group notifications, sales lead, knowledge, and articles, and many more. What we're going to click on today is the task. Then we're going to click on the search bar over here. Then we're going to select an option. Then we're going to scroll down and then we're going to click on new task. Now we will have to input all this information over here. We're simply going to name our new task, make, make an email alert. Now over here in the set input values, we're going to enter a value over here, five thing on record, campaign member, and campaign ID. Then we're going to click on owner ID. Now we're going to enable the due date only by clicking this and then we're going to input a date. But we're not going to input a date, we're simply going to click on the flow and then click on the current date. Now we're going to enable name ID. Over here we're going to put in record, then contact, contact ID. Now we're going to do the same, so we're simply just going to copy this and Paste it over here. Then over here, our subjects will be email set. After that, we're simply going to click on done. And then after that, you can simply activate it. And then you would be receiving email alerts when the conditions are completed. And that's it, guys. That's how you make an email alert in Salesforce. Thanks for